Hello there, my name is Cesar Cruz. I'm director of videography at Desire to Inspire Studios. I currently reside in Sonoma County, Santa Rosa, California. I originally came to this country back in 2001. My family had just immigrated from our town in Guanajuato, Mexico, and I got a chance to go to school here. I went to L.C. Allen High School and I graduated in 2009. I then went on to Sonoma State University and through my college years, I was able to study abroad as well. I went to the University of Puerto Rico, Rio Piedras in 2013. Then I came back the following year and obtained my degree in communication studies and a minor in philosophy and Spanish at Sonoma State University in 2014. I've been a video producer for almost about eight years now and looking forward to what's next. Ever since I was growing up, I remember I loved telling stories. And as I got older, I started to understand that the best way to remember someone is by telling their stories, but also giving them the ability to tell it themselves. What I love about video production is that you have the ability to encapsulate a specific moment in history for those individuals so that they can tell the public who they are what they might be going through and what they were about. The energy they provided for that individual will always bring them back to life. Um, I think it's the greatest gesture of the human history that we're creating every day because it really is about your abuelitos, abuelitas that were there before you that gave you the guide in one way or another to find the success that you have today. Um, I think giving yourself the ability to remember your history will yield you to a great future. So for me, it was one of those things that it only felt natural to be a part of this because this lineage keeps expanding. And I'm here today thanks to my family, thanks to everyone around me who's cared about the work that I do and the people who continue to support me. And I will always return the favor. I will always be here uh, to light the beacon for those individuals that uh, want to step up to the plate. And if you have a hard time learning how to operate a camera, I'm, I'm always going to be here to help you support, make that possible. Really try to invest a little bit of time and effort with just a small camera, something reasonable that you can handle, but that can give you the experience necessary to understand what it is you're making. And through those trial and error experiences, you'll realize you start developing a style. And through the style that you're working through, you also will learn what it takes to deliver a, a production uh, valued work. Um, ultimately, it comes from the experiences you put yourself through to the ability to open up yourself to more skills and learning from those errors, but also at the same time, taking things and striving through them because it's not about being perfect, it's about trying. It's about working hard for it. It's about the ability to say to yourself, like, it's okay if it doesn't come out perfect the first time, but I'm gonna allow myself to keep growing because through my years of being an amateur to my ability to learning how to hold a camera, to learning how to edit, it really was always about the ability to say yes, the ability to be present and the ability to capture something while it was happening. Uh, I would highly suggest looking into the fields of communication studies, looking perhaps into the fields of media production or even cinema. I think there's a handful of colleges around the area that definitely have those possibilities in their field, but ultimately it's up to you gearing yourself with the necessary skills because as much as you're taking these courses, it's not about going to class. It really is about what's gaining for you because through those years that you have the ability to learn, it really will come down on you after you graduate to find yourself in this career pathway. What I really love about my job is the fact that I get to be a problem solver. Oftentimes when we're approaching situations with nonprofits or perhaps businesses, we like to identify some of the key goals for them ultimately through the media that we're producing. 
Uh, for us, it's more important to create engaging media and media that's inspiring. So we really identify some of those key things in their mission statements, and then also get a chance to sit down with these individuals, understand more clearly what their messaging is so that we can come up with something precise that they can be very proud of and at the same time look to invest more in the future. I urge you to really pursue those uncomfortable moments and sometimes having those difficult conversations with yourself and perhaps those around you so that you can find the opportunity to you get closer to your dreams and then ultimately link up with individuals that are doing the great work that you're interested in because it's their experiences that really have provided them a guide. Um, I oftentimes remember um, being like just a student running around Puerto Rico and like just having this little video camera on my phone and the ability to capture people in their moments and looking back at those images has now made me more proud of the work that I'm doing today because I keep growing, I keep changing, but I've never let go of the playful individual. I've always been um, running around with a camera because it's who I am, it's who I want to be, and it's how I keep growing. If you are interested in being a camera operator, learning how to edit, learning how to do any specific work in media, we're here to support you. So definitely contact us. You can find more information at desire to inspire studios dot com.